All right, so I'm doing a uh, review on my uh, Craven Speed short shifter. So now I've had it for, God, how many months have I had it for now? I had it for several months now. Um, uh, it took about a thousand miles or so to uh, break in, I think. You know, when it was new, it was very, um, it was definitely very notchy. Um, obviously very mechanical, and it still is very mechanical, and it's still it's still notchy, but but uh, um, it's a lot smoother than what it was when it was new. Um, so let's take a look at that. Actually, let me take off the my shifter here, my shift knob here. Jeez, it's so cold. I can get my hand, my grips on there. So let's look at let's look at the shift knob here. Well, not the shift knob. I mean the uh, the shifter, top of the shifter uh, screw. So we get an idea of um, how much uh, travel it has. Um, you know, in relation to the neutral. So right now it's in the neutral position. Uh, so let's, let's look at it from side to side. Go this direction. Let's start out at, uh, let's say three, right there at three inches. That's the middle. So three inches at the middle, right? Um, centered basically. So let's push it all the way over. So that's that's about three quarters of an inch over to the right. About three quarters of an inch or so to the left from neutral. Maybe a little bit more than three quarters. Yes, yeah, a little bit more than three quarters both ways actually. Just a tad bit over like uh, like uh, um, seven eighths maybe. My hands, my hand keeps on moving. I need to keep this hand still. Let's keep it in one spot right here. If I could keep it in one spot right there. Yes, I can't tell if I need to. Well, I want to keep it at the top of where the uh, where the shifter is. Go back to that. So it's about. Uh, Yeah, yeah, it's about actually yeah. So this side is about uh, seven eighths, and this side is about three quarters. Uh, let's look at the uh, front and back. Unfortunately, my tripod's right in the way right here, so I can't have it uh, that direction. So let's try it in this direction. The four. So right here I'm at. Uh, oh. Man, everything's so cold right now. I can't. My hands are frozen. I can't barely move anything. Let me center this at four. Okay, so that's center at four. So I'm just gonna shift it straight up into the third, third gear. So from four, it went a little past five, so that's uh, five and, it looks like five and a sixteenth. Five and a sixteenth. And uh, this one down, one down to two and uh, seven eighths. So basically, basically a little bit over an inch in that direction of travel. Let me raise this thing above the shifter a little bit, so I can shift it over to first. First, let's see. Well, first is the same thing. First is the same. Second is the uh, same. Six, or oh, excuse me, fifth is the same. Six is the same. Yeah. So, so all the all six gears, front and back is is the same. Actually, let's look at where the uh, where the uh, um, from the neutral. So we know that neutral it goes straight up into third and straight down into fourth. So let's go over to first and see how far it goes over. 
right? So it's it basically it's, this, it's that full travel, that full, uh, what was it, seventh, eighth, and three quarters on this, this side. Um, so let's actually see reverse. I need to push this down reverse. So first with seven eighths. Let me down and oops, down to reverse. It goes out to, it looks like inch and a half out. Almost no, three inch and three, three eighths, inch and three eighths over. So inch and three eighths over. So that's all your travel right there, all right? So let's look at the, let's look at the, what else should we look at? Let's look at the height, the height of this in, in relation to the, uh, let's say the, this cover here. Let's, let's see, I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be kind of hard. I'm, I'm just have to put my my uh, my uh, um, tape measure straight straight up, perpendicular. I'm gonna just eyeball level with the top of the uh, with the uh, shifter right here as best I can. But, uh, the tripod's in my way. There's like no space in this car. Let's see, it looks like it's, the top of it looks like it is about three and a half inches. Yeah, so, the, so the, from the base here to the top here is about three and a half inches. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, so, so those are the measurements uh, there. And again, the feel, Nachi, you know, that Nachi mechanical feel is still there. So that's what I like about it compared to stock. Stock doesn't have that Nachi mechanical feel. It's, uh, even though, you know, the shifter is directly mounted onto the uh, transmission, unlike, say, a front-wheel drive car where, where the transmission is up in the engine bay um, and it's connected by linkages, you know, this thing, the transmission tunnel is right, right, in the, underneath, right underneath the tunnel here. The transmission right underneath here, so it's connected right on direct connection, no, no linkages. So it has a very direct feel, but at the same time with the stock, it's very, uh, um, it doesn't feel mechanical. It, it's so smooth because a, a lot of the parts on the stock shifter, it's, it's plastic. Uh, quite a bit of the parts on there is plastic, so, so it doesn't quite have, have the same uh, mechanical feel. And it definitely doesn't, it doesn't have much of a notchy feel either but this thing it this definitely has a very mechanical feel so i really like that and it has a very notchy uh it has that notchy mechanical feel so uh but also because it's a short shifter meaning the bot where the fulcrum is where the bottom where it extends out down it's a little bit longer so basically you have less leverage so that means um that means you have to put more more input from you to shift this you know it requires more you know, as as you shift, it requires more input, more more pressure, basically. And you need to push a little bit more, uh, use a little bit more heft on your part compared to the stock, compared to the stock, uh, um, to the stock um, uh, shifter. And I would have to say that this, the way it is right now, as actually let's look at, at the stock setup. The stock setup. If you say compare, if you compare the the steering, the the feel of the steering, the the input of the steering to the shifter, I think the steering input is probably is lighter. You know, FR is how much effort it takes to to turn the steering wheel versus uh, shifting. I think the steering wheel is actually a little bit stock, stock to stock. It's actually lighter on the steering wheel than it is on the shifter. Uh, but with my car, you know, I have two fifteens now, you know, two fifteen tires. So it's you know, when you when you go with wider tires, it it keep, puts a little bit more drag on the steering, so it makes it a little bit firmer. But also, I have that. Um, I also have a, a, a Guardian design uh, steering wheel, so it's 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 uh, about ten millimeters smaller in diameter, so that gives you less leverage. So those two things makes my steering wheel a little bit firmer. Um, then I think that right there is actually firmer than the stock shifter. With this shifter, since it's more mechanical and everything, and, and it's yeah less leverage, it also is firmer as well. I believe right now, this shifter is actually a little bit firmer than my my uh, steering wheel and wider tire setup. Uh, and I, I want and I want uh, to make it um, basically as.
close to the same amount of effort as possible, you know. Uh, and so for me, it's all about the feel of uh, of how of of you know part of the experience of the of the Miata is is the way it feels. Um, so I want that 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 feel of experience where where the steering and the uh, the the shifter has about the same amount of input uh, requirement. So it's more uh, it feels more seamless that way. You don't have to think about things as much. It just feels more uh, instinctive, basically. So that's that's what I'm looking for. Um, all right, that's about it. So. Thanks for watching.